video, we are going to talk about one sample t-test. How to run the test, how to interpret, and how to report the test. Now, one sample t-test is used when the mean of the sample is to be compared with the mean of the population. Whether or not the sample belongs to the population. If somebody wants to know whether the sample drawn from a particular population is actually representative of the population or not, one sample t-test can be a good test to perform. The following are the few instances where using one sample t-test would be appropriate. A country has per capita income of $1,000. A sample of 100 is collected from a city of a country. The researcher would use one sample t-test in order to check if the sample represents the population. A quality control supervisor would like to know if the dimensions of a particular product have changed significantly from its original specification during the production or manufacturing process. In each of the above mentioned scenarios, we have a given population mean and then we have collected data from a sample in order to compare the sample mean to the population mean. When using one sample t-test, you must know the mean of the population which is referred to as test value in SPSS. So how do you run one sample t-test? Here is our sample data that is per capita income that is collected from a city from 100 people. And in order to run the one sample t-test, we will go to analyze, compare means and then one sample t-test. We are interested in identifying or evaluating whether the sample represents the population or not. And the data drawn is per capita. So we put it in trust variable. Oh, sorry, yes, test variable. And the test value is the per capita income of the population, which is the average mean or the mean of the population. So that is $1,000. You just don't need to press or do anything else. Just press OK. And what you get is two tables. One is one sample statistics. N is 100. The sample is 100. The mean is 1107. The standard deviation is 271. And what we are interested in is identifying whether this significantly differs to the population mean or not. So if you look at in here, the significance two tailed, this is less than 0 0.05. This means yes, there is a significant difference in the mean of the sample and the mean of the population. So the sample is not adequately representing the population. So how do you interpret this results? So this is how you interpret actually how do you write or report these results. So in order to report the results, let's say we had a problem to check if per capita income of a city equals the per capita income of the country. Our null hypothesis was that there is no significant difference in the per capita income of the people of Peshawar and per capita income of Pakistan. So let's assume the data was collected or the sample was from Peshawar and the country or the population mean was the, from the per capita income of the country. So alternate is just the opposite of it. So how do you report the results? One sample test, t test, was run to assess if the per capita income in the city of Peshawar differs significantly in comparison to the per capita income of the country, Pakistan. The descriptive statistics show that 1107.76 is the average salary of the sample and 271.295 is the standard deviation. The results reveal a significant difference in the per capita income of the city of Peshawar in comparison to the per capita income of Pakistan. This is the t-value which is greater than 1.96 so this shows that there is a significant difference. What we see is that the average or per capita income of the sample is higher in comparison to the per capita income of the country. Hence average per capita income of the city is significantly different from the average per capita income of the country. This shows that the sample does not represent the population. Hence H1 was not supported. The tables if they are pasted in here can be formatted to obviously show the results. So what we can do is we can merge these two tables. What we can do is we can put the test value at the end as a note. So in order to do this, let's note test value is equal to 1000. 
thousand layout. We do not need this now. So what we do is we remove this and we add two more columns. So we just need the mean and standard deviation, so we put it here. This mean and standard deviation. Now we've got the two tables in one table. So we've saved ourselves some space and well formatted our results. So if we just do the print order, then obviously just arrange them. that can be further arranged but this is how uh, you can interpret and you report your one sample statistics results I hope the video would have helped you understand the concept how to run interpret and report one sample statistics thank you very much